Hello dear students, in this lecture we will be discussing endosperm culture technique under tissue culture techniques. So what is endosperm culture? First of all, endosperm is a triploid tissue which is found in angiosperms and it is a suitable explant for raising triploid plants. Endosperm culture is a technique of in vitro development of isolated mature and immature endosperm from the seed at the proper stage on a suitable artificial culture medium to obtain a triploid plant and this technique is applied to obtain triploid plants. Why triploid plants are important? Because triploid plants are sterile and usually seedless but they have more yield and vigor because of the extra set of chrom chromosomes compared to their diploid counterparts. So Triploid plants are desirable in those uh, plants uh, where seeds are not required and vegetative propagation can be done. For example, banana, watermelon, grapes, etc. So this is the importance of endosperm culture that we can obtain triploid plants which are seedless and so they are desired by the consumers. And the added advantage of uh, triploid plants is that uh, along with the seedless, they have high yield and vigor due to extra set of chromosomes. Now, what is the technique of endosperm culture? As we have uh, discussed, it is the in vitro development of isolated mature or immature endosperm from seeds at proper stage on a suitable culture medium to op obtain triploid plantlet. Now, Endosperm culture is a useful procedure for the production of triploids from diploid plants. So we can make a triploid plant from diploid plant if we culture endosperm under artificial conditions. Compared with con conventional chemical treatments, endosperm culture saves a great deal of time and this time saving aspect plays an important role in quick production of various polyploid plants, especially the tree crops which take several years to flower. So once we obtain triploid plants, they can be utilized to make further uh, polyploids like hex hexaploid and other plants and they can be utilized for the production of uh, flowers. Now polyploid production has been utilized in breeding. Uh, several crops and polyploid plants are generally expected to have bigger organs because of the extra set of chromosomes. In addition, polyploid plants exhibit disease resistance, delayed ripening, delayed flowering, low fertility in some cases. So these phenotypes are considered to be favorable traits. So in this picture, you can see that this is a uh, endosperm which has been isolated from this seed and the endosperm after culturing develops into a callus. You can see the callus are is shown in the arrows and then they are developing some shoots and then they develop roots, then the whole plant and the plant is transferred to soil. Now, basically, because endosperm culture is done under artificial conditions, so it requires a basal medium. This basal medium which consists of macronutrients, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, a source of carbohydrate like sucrose, agar agar. And uh, this basal medium, as we have already discussed in previous lectures, uh, any basal medium can be utilized out of the eight basal media like white snobs, MS, MT, LS, B5, NB, SH and Lloyd. So this has to be standardized and uh, then based on that we can supplement this basal medium with growth regulators. So in endosperm culture our explant which is the plant part used to propagate the new plant will be endosperm and this uh, endosperm when it is first cultured on basal medium and then uh, depending upon the condition it can be uh, cultured on um, once the callus develops then for further uh, 
generation of shoots it can be transferred to shooting medium which is basal media supplemented with any of the cytokinin like BAP, TDZ, zeatin and then these shoots are transferred to rooting media uh, on a uh, which is basal media supplemented with auxins once the plants develop they are first acclimatized in incubator and then they are transferred in soil so we have already discussed this um, types of basal media and this in first part of uh, this lecture series of tissue culture please refer to part one which is micro propagation of tissue culture techniques and in this picture you can see that this is a seed uh, of wheat plant and it shows endosperm and endosperm as we have just discussed that this is triploid in nature and uh, this triploid uh, in nature uh, which is this triploid where uh, endosperm when uh, say this is your uh, seed and so from this we take out the endosperm and this is your endosperm this is cultured and this develops callus and this callus develops say somatic embryos so we say that somatic embryogenesis has taken place and this embryo directly forms a triploid plant because it has developed from endosperm and then if, suppose we uh, put this callus uh, um, in a medium which is supplemented with colchicine or we treat this callus with colchicine which um, duplicates the chromosome number so this instead of triploid this will be hexaploid this will give rise to hexaploid plant so this is how uh, we can um, uh, uh, generate a triploid plant or a for, for we can also do further polyploidy of this triploid plant under artificial conditions so this is a picture the same picture which we have discussed in the previous slide this shows the generation of plant um, from endosperm which is cultured on artificial medium and was now this picture is showing the culture of endosperm and the regeneration of a new plant so in the first picture you can see that an embryo is uh, developing from the endosperm this embryo further develops and gives rise to shoots here through callus and these shoots are then gives rise to the new plant so i hope the topic is clear to you students please refer uh, biotechnology by pk gupta uh, tissue culture by bhojwani and rajdhan to understand this topic better and uh, let us meet in 